all of last year, like the school year, the full school year, I lived at my friend's house because I had to get to school. And I went to school every day and I realized, hey, the problem isn't me, the problem is school. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and we talked about different things. And like, you know, everyone was really supportive. Jody was like, um, Jody, the person, uh, my friend's mom and also my friend, um, was like, you know, sometimes school's not a right fit or the students are not a right fit and it's really not anyone's fault. Right. And that was like what helped me like, and I already knew two people who came here, so I worked it out with people. And, like, everyone, like, this, the people in the school system were kind of like, really, you want to be doing this? Mm-hmm. Like, they were very skeptical and stuff, but now I'm doing it, and I feel a whole lot better because I actually go outside. I'm vitamin D deficient, and part of what happened when I was going to school is I would go to school, I would, I would come home from school, and, and I would fall asleep at 4 p.m., and then I would wake up at 7 p.m., I would eat, and then I would be unable to sleep, and then I would sleep, and then I would wake up. So I wouldn't get any work done, and I would not get enough or good sleep, and it was just miserable, mm-hmm. because I barely saw the sun at all, which is not a good way to live. Right. But yeah, now I'm here, and um, I have been here since the beginning of the this year, so this is my first year here. Okay. Yeah. And I'm having a good time. Have you noticed, like, you're happier? Oh, yeah, way happier. And so besides, like, the vitamin D, what else do you like about being here? Um, That maybe you weren't getting in public school. Well, it's kind of like I don't have to go to everything. And we make bread sometimes, Mm -hmm. and I really like making bread. Yeah? Yeah, and I can just do whatever. And, you know, there's fun stuff. And, like, I can also learn stuff and read you like to read? I like to read, yeah. Do you like fiction or non-fiction? Both. Oh. Yeah. I like speculative fiction. And, um, like, I like so many genres. It's, I, I volunteer at a library. I just take whatever Sweet. looks interesting. Do you volunteer, like, outside of this or during the day, during the week? Um, it's on Wednesdays. And this, oh, it doesn't okay. meet Wednesdays. Um, yeah, I've been doing that since about sixth grade. Because I need, yeah, it's been pretty cool. So do you, have you been able, I mean, I know it's only been a couple months that you've been here. Have you been able to, like, pinpoint any new passions that you didn't know you had or any new interests or been able to develop passions you knew you had? Well, I'm learning languages because I want to, like, I'm trying to learn five languages now. Five? Yeah. He's learning, like, seven, I think, right? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. What five are you learning? Spanish, Italian, French, Japanese, and Arabic. That's incredible. Yeah. All so is it? Are you kind of teaching yourself, or is there a class here that's offered that? I'm actually going to talk about tutoring with my advisor, like in ten minutes. So you go to tutoring with your advisor. And what do you get tutored on? I haven't met with my advisor yet because I've been like having a hard time showing up early in the morning. My sleeping schedule is still a mess. Sure. So I'm trying to. You know, get a little more regular. Yes, I'm trying not to be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy about how much sleep affects your overall. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it really does. Well, thank you for sharing. Yes. You're next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs>